I don't think that there's a right or a wrong answer to this. It, it all depends on your style and your personal preference. But for me, I prefer to be a options buyer. And here's why. Options give you two big things. It gives you leverage and it gives you better risk management. So if a trade goes against you, right? Now, if you're a stock holder and you wanted to, let's say that you bought at 100 and you planned on exiting at 95, that stock could get down to 90, could get down to 80 and fall all the way to zero. And you could end up losing far more than you intended. But with the price of the option, it, you tend to treat the entire premium, the, the amount that you paid for that option, as being at risk. So the most that you could lose on the options trade is going to be your entire premium. Okay, fine. Most of the time, hey, you don't end up risking the entire premium and treating that entire premium at risk. And most of the time when you're trading options, well, what you would do is exit long before you lose all of your premium. Well, at most, you're looking at probably losing half of your premium if you're trading options well. But the way that I like to buy options would be as a day trade. And the reason why is because if I'm looking at options to day trade, then I'm getting that additional leverage for the trade. So I'm looking for momentum trades uh, that are also options plays where there's a liquid options market, meaning that uh, there's a lot of buyers, there's a lot of sellers. It's very easy to move in and out of the options trade. The, the bid and the ask price are relatively tight. Sometimes you'll find trades that are moving very quickly and for a particular option uh, uh, at a particular strike uh, it, you might have a very wide bid and ask uh, of more than a dollar and to me that that's very wide uh, i prefer the 50 cents uh, at an absolute maximum on uh, some of the biggest momentum trades if it's more than that then i tend not to be interested but well, when you're day trading well with options, then the the time value uh, or the time decay becomes less of uh, uh, less of a factor because if you hold overnight, it you're not dealing with that that time decay, right? If you're a day trader, you're not dealing with that time decay. If you're swing trading options, then the more that price just consolidate sideways and doesn't move as quickly as you thought that it would move, then that's another factor that's working against you. And that's why uh, a lot of options traders end up losing well when they're, they're doing swing trading. But if you're day trading options, uh, that's the big benefit, right? You're getting the leverage of the option, but you're not dealing with the, the time decay of that option.